second video in 24 hours. Hey, hey, I'm going to try something different this week. Because it's a new week starting. It's four, it's four, is, four is week, one's day. I've got, uh, I've got a question which was asked of me by the general public in my own society in the last day or two. And I thought, perhaps it's a good thing to do a video on. In a different way of answering the same question that he asked, that this person asked me. And the question was, where do I get my information? And I've got an answer for it in the form of, a, uh, of an admission. So this is a list of intelligent sources in brackets from Twitter from the Franks admissions to Stan file for 3183. This is file number uh, 4.001377. You might see where it is I've got the number from. Uh, before I go any further though, I'll turn off the clock and I'll turn off the camera so that you may see this beautiful image before I, before I put the, uh, the clock back on. Here we have the, the list of my intelligence sources. I've had to redact some of these. And to be quite honest, this one here should be, won't be redacted, and, and I'll be revealing what this one is instead. We'll just ignore this guy. Well, it's not so much we've got to redact him, but I, I think we can put an X next to him as if he can be discounted for the time being. Here's the list. We'll start at the top of the list. Donald J. Trump. I always remember the time I spent today with courageous students, teachers, and families. This was two hours ago. Flotus, First Lady. Melania and I joined uh, millions of people around the world in the morning the passing of Billy Graham seven hours ago. Ten hours ago. Yesterday was my great honor to recognize extraordinary law enforcement officers and first responders. So uh, an, an award of the Medal of Valor, or I guess more than once. 13 hours ago, question, if all the Russian meddling took place during the Obama administration right up until January 20th, as in Inauguration Day of this 2017, why aren't they the subject of the investigation? Why didn't Obama do something about the meddling? Why aren't Democrat uh, crimes under investigation? Ask Jeff Sessions. So Trump is putting direct pressure 12 hours ago on, uh, on Jeff Sessions. Direct pressure. <coughs> Donald J. Trump, 14 hours ago. Great Billy Graham is dead. <coughs> Matter of opinion there, Mr. Trump. There was nobody like him. He will be missed by Christians and all religions. He won't be missed by me, my friend, and he will not be missed by all religions neither. Very special man. Uh, I suppose he might be, but uh, there's very few presidents since, what, uh, LBJ? I haven't said the same thing. Whether we are Republican or Democrat, we must now focus on strengthening background checks February 20th, so yesterday, day before yesterday, and a thread trailing behind it. <laughs> Tip of the iceberg. Also, yes, uh, the day before yesterday, February 20th, that's uh, 3 fours day. Bad ratings at CNN and at MSNBC got scammed when they uh, covered the anti-Trump Russia what rally wall to wall. They probably knew it was fake news, but because it was a rally against me, they pushed it hard anyway. Two really dishonest newscasters, but the public is wise. Two days ago. Main Street is booming thanks to our incredible tax cut and reform law. Probably true. A woman I don't know, and this is also on the 20th, and to the best of my knowledge, never met, is on the front page of the fake news Washington Post saying, I kissed her for two minutes yet in the lobby of Trump Tower 12 years ago. 
Never happened. Who would do this in a public space with live security cameras running? Another false accusation. Why doesn't the Washington Post report on the story of the woman taking money to make up stories about me? One had her home mortgage paid off. Only at Fox News, so reported, didn't fit the mainstream media narrative. I'm much tougher on Russia than Obama, also on the 20th. Just look at the facts. Total fake news. So that's Donald Trump. Let's look at the next one. Julian Assange. Now it's asking me to uh, to sign in here. I ain't signing in to shit. According to Julian Assange's Twitter feed. Oh, this is from the 13th of October. Six hours ago, Medium... CEO Twitter co-founder Evan Williams deletes the accounts and writings of U.S. anti-establishment New Right figures uh, Mike Cernovich, Jack Pasabiak, and Laura Loomer in content control power grab. Alt-right leaders, this is according to the Outline.com. Alt-right leader can no longer alt-right leaders, sorry, can no longer spread disinformation on Medium. Background information posted by Julian Assange six hours ago. Did bots force Al Franken to resign? (laughs) Snopes.com. Show this thread. Newsweek strikes again because mass of uh, Russian bots causing U.S. Senator Al Franken to resign was fake. Nina Burley, I guess, is a reporter there. At a reporter, or you call them a reporter at Newsweek? I'm not entirely sure about that. <coughs> Retracting the L. Franken story after investigation, or after investigating further, we can't verify source claims that the botnet was political. I'm sorry. Huh. Yeah, I started Franken Fondles, not a bot. <laughs> Verified, not a bot. You sure did coin that line with many other great ones, Bradford. My favorite, my favorite, full of shift out of the park. Did you repost that? Yes, I did. Can't give Snopes a Google hit. The hacks to promote and profit from lies. Do bots fact check at Snopes? You mean Soros check? <laughs> yeah, there's a Al Franken abreast of the situation. When Obama's, this is on February 20th, two days ago, when Obama's CIA is used bots and false personas to try to instigate a Cuban spring, dot, 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 a retweet from Julian Assange from this counterpunch account. U.S. secretly created Cuban Twitter to start unrest and undermine the government. Lots of retweets on Julian's page. Eight hours ago, New Zealand state brags that he found a way to rid themselves of Kim.com if he surprised extradition to the U.S. and allegedly undeclared speeding ticket. I was was given residency for the purpose of extradition. It's amusing how the former national government thought they could just deport me from New Zealand for a speeding ticket as a plan B if extradition fails. Nothing was concealed. I I was speeding while in New Zealand. Nine hours ago, the Laurel, the Lori Love decision, what are its wider implications? Lori Love decisions. U.S. High Court refused to order the extradition of British Finnish activist Lori Love to the U.S. where he is waited, wanted on hacking charges on the grounds. This is from fairtrials.org. That looks like pretty good information. Nine hours ago, Edward Snowden and Kim.com are also being prosecuted at the EVDA, which forms the center of the U.S. government's lawfare efforts to where it tries to virtually occupy other states through the creeping application of extraterritorial, extraterritorial jurisdiction, EVDA. Meet my prosecutor, Tracy Doherty McCormick, posted nine hours ago, who took charge of over 120 prosecutors in the Eastern District of Virginia last month's EVDA. Eastern District of Virginia? is where the U.S. holds its national security cases. She's been on the case since the start. Hmm. So 
So Julian Assange, his Twitter page. Boy, that's a pretty good one. I really ought to not have been using a private browsing window here. I could have posted all of these, but you can find them if you just Google them. Of course, you'll find that there's many different accounts all claiming to be, but alas, we can get over this. The Lori Love Decision, posted on February 9th. Refused to order the extradition of British Finnish activist Lori Love to the U.S., where he's wanted to, on hacking charges on the grounds that sending him to U.S. jail would be oppressive given poor conditions in the U.S. custody, and that in the interest of justice required the case to be prosecuted instead in the U.K. Decision marks the first time a U.K. court has used the forum bar years after the power was introduced. Forum bar, as well as a range of other reforms in UK extradition law, was largely welcomed by fair trials at the time they were announced. However, the fact that there was not a single reported case in which the forum bar has blocked extradition led some commentary, commentators to describe it as illusory, and this view would have no doubt been reinforced by the magistrate's court's decision in September 2016 to order Laurie Love's extradition to the US. Next one, Nicholas, Nick Majerison, seven hours or 17 hours ago, he retweeted, so he keeps getting re stuck in other people's uh, mentions, I think. Replying to We Frumpy and Orac Vlogs, pretty sure he exposed or Simon, some other one, someone other did. Oops, it's in the replies eight hours ago. You're absolutely condemn it. Hmm. Found you on Twitter so I could ask you to educate me. Someone asked him 18 hours ago to educate me on your version of feminism. On February 16th, Hail Eris, 23, he popped the number that day. All hell discordia, someone got him right back at him. That's why I listen to him sometimes. Peter Hitchens. Oh my God. Yeah, the fact that the cat is actually entertaining the smaller cat, that is kind of crazy. Where do we learn it? Thanks, Nick. Here is the one redacted one. Devin Nunez, 14 hours ago. Catch up on mainstream media Russian conspiracy theories in this piece by FDRLST, the Federalist. P.S. If you're a Russian bot, please make this go viral. P.S.S. If you're not a Russian bot, you will be. You will become one if you retweet. <laughs> when it comes to Russian Trump collusion theory, a bit more journalistic rigor is in order. From the Federalist, uh, February twentieth, two days ago. Thanks, Matt. Looking forward to seeing you there, Matt Schlapp. It's clear the Obama administration abused their sacred government power. Their sacred government power. Okay. I don't know about sacred, but it's it's a sacred trust that they hold with the public. That's that's what makes it sacred, my friend. Not not no god. What turned out to be an effort to surveil their pub, uh, political opponents just don't allow this in America, and that's why conservatives dot dot dot. Well, I'm not going to follow that train. Devin on the 18th, which is four days ago, latest interview aired this morning where I discussed FISA abuse and the next steps to discover the truth. So he's happily stepping up to talk to at least 
one branch of the media. Why the media stopped reporting about the Russia collusion story, also from the Federalist. The man who escaped brutal com communist dictatorship not being covered by the media, Mark Meadows, a representative. While sometime the media looked fondly upon North Korea during the Olympics, cannot recall from two weeks ago one of the most powerful moments I've ever witnessed. He's talking about the Olympics on the 11th. What a uh, Devin, don't follow that. Don't follow that train, Devin. Here's the last three on my list. In fact, there's the last two, and then I've got a bonus one. Hillary Clinton, 9th November, a pinned tweet is still there. Five hours ago, Parkland students. She tried to jump in on the Parkland thing. And then she retweets something from The View or attaches a link from The View. Another 10 hours ago, another terrific organization, Onward Together, is working to make change. Oh, lovely. I vote fund. I vote fraud is what I vote. I vote fraud. <laughs> or at least Hindenburg, be honest. February 19th, that's three days ago. Want to hear the real story of the Clinton Federate, or the Fritton Foundation? Read this. <laughs> right, right, Hinden, right, right, Hindenburg. On the 16th February, mass shootings are not inevitable. What? What are not inevitable? Hmm. She means if they were because if they were inevitable, you couldn't avoid them. But she's saying that you can avoid them, which is Daniel Dennett's evitable. Majority of Americans support common sense gun reform, but that's not the issue, Hindenburg. Don't be a fucking idiot. Though we feel angry, heartbroken, even helpless now. Uh, look, no, no, no. Idiot. Don't listen to Hindenburg. She's not worth listening. I'm surprised she decides to jump in that day of, and now she's lapping up all the tears. Here's Bo, the, the last one on the list. Bo, 12 hours ago. Billy Graham was a humble servant and somebody who Barack Obama met with several times. We might also add, somebody who was probably putting a lot of money into Barack Obama's pocket in order for Barack Obama to have the political support that he got when he got elected to president the first time around, a person like Billy Graham. Uh, so February 15th, the last time that this man has posted on, February, uh, uh, on Twitter, and the 14th before that, Valentine's Day message to Michelle for, you know, or Mike, depending on it. And then a month before that, Dr. King was 26, blah, blah, blah. And then on the 29th December. So, yeah, he's, he's apparently now been promoted to only talking about the people that he pretty much better suck off one more time. But uh, I guess that explains a lot about Mr. Bo now, don't it? Here's our tonight's, or I should say, here's the list's little uh, Rando the Magnificent pick. Rando the Magnificent pick tonight is Justin Trudeau. Three hours ago, Rebecca Schofield was laid to rest today as her friends and family say goodbye. Let's make sure the legacy of Becca told me to lives on and continues and continue to be kind to one another. Rip Becca. I'm not entirely sure what this, refer, what, what this refers to. Rebecca Schofield était uh, conduite de la a son dernier repose aujourd'hui. Okay. Placed in her final repose. Canada's honored to just sit in six hours ago. Canada's honored to join the world's most digitally advanced governments as part of the D Digital Seven. Today, Joyce Murray signed the charter in Wellington, New, Ze New Zealand. D7. Huh. Is that a retweet, Mr. Trudeau? It is a retweet from Scott Bryson. Trudeau, my thoughts with everyone seven hours ago, uh, affected by the flooding in Brantford, Ontario. Stay safe, listen to your local authorities, and please follow evacuation orders. Everything in two languages for Mr. Trudeau. 
uh, eight hours ago. Partition Museum in Amritsar chronicles the heartbreak, violence, and refugee crisis that follows the split in India and Pakistan in 1947 is also a place for stories of resilience. Uh, this is catching different media bits because of what he's wearing. 11 hours ago, it's not an Olympics without you on the podium, Bob Sled Kelly. One skin you make is proud. So he's giving out uh, attaboys and posting results, screams like an idiot. Ce soir, uh, nous avons célébré les deux opportunités opportunité de faire de faire et des liens profonds entre de, euh, entre nos deux pays heureuse de rencontrer I am S M I am what S R K Shahrukh Khan et de me joindre à mes collègues après une journée chargée hmm. right From Bardish Chagger. Oh. It's a retweet. It doesn't translate the, the retweets that are in one language or the other. On the 20th, two days ago, sending you love and support, Salma. I'd like to share with my constituents at Scarborough Center that I have been begun a medical leave. Uh, that would be Salma Zahid, Member of Parliament for Scarborough Center posted two days ago. Uh, on the 20th, two days ago, my thanks to the business leaders I met with today in Mumbai for their commitment to Canada, Canadian talent. Find out more about our announcements here, PM's commercial partnerships with India. Also, today's announcements, announcements mean more than 5,800 new jobs in Canada and more than 1 billion Canadian in contracts and deals. Hmm. And of course, I have to stop the video twice because it's in English and French. Yeah, I didn't translate the French part from the last one. I, I don't intend to either. So that that's partly where I get some of my information. It's other people, and but it's going to be coming from sources like Twitter since they're forced to make some announcements via Twitter in order to be responsible. It's not because of the person that I looked at first in the list. It's not at all due to him, but... Uh, that particular person is really good at using this particular direct means of uh, communication. The problem with it is it's limited and it's and it's like delivery. The 140 characters or the, or whatever else. The fact that you mouse over to get something to happen like that and it works every or it happens every time. The, it's the little things, isn't it, Jack? Or What's his name? The other guy? Yeah, I don't even remember. I don't want to remember. That's the truth. So uh, thanks for watching. Leave a comment below on anything that you've heard or, or anything that you might want to... <laughs> any contentious point you might want to raise with me. Or if you thought I'd said it right, let me know that too.